Doctor's YouTube channel. We're here in the beautiful Garden Island of Kauai for the Kauai Writers Conference. And we want to talk about the difference between queries, pitches, and summaries. A lot of confusion. People don't quite understand the difference between these things. Let's start with the pitch. The pitch. The pitch is that thing that appears on the back of your book that describes what your book is in usually around 150 to 200 words. If you're doing a verbal pitch, it's about a minute. You've got a minute to pitch your book. A query includes your pitch, but also might include information at the top about why you're querying the agent or editor that you're sending your letter to. That would be the first paragraph. As well as your pitch, which comes next, and finally a short version of your bio. Your bio. Some agents and publishers want a summary of your book. For so, novels, usually. So that would be where you actually tell the whole story. Usually it's a couple of pages long, not more than five pages, to say. But um, usually more than a page, because yeah. that would be too similar to your pitch. So in a pitch, for instance, let's say you're pitching a murder mystery, you wouldn't say, and in the end, the butler did it. Whereas in a summary, because the summary shows the entire arc of your book. An agent or editor wants to know that you understand how a plot works. They want to see the appropriate twists in the plot, how you tie things up, and that there's a strong beginning, middle, and end. A pitch, on the other hand, is something that makes someone say, oh my god, I gotta read that book because I want to know what happens or what I can learn. So that's the difference. All right, everybody. Hang loose. If you have any questions about pitches, summaries, and queries, please put them in the comments below. Like and share. Like, like and share. share. Like and share. Thank you. See you Aloha. at the bookstore. See you at the bookstore. Or. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> quack, quack, quack.